Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this sweatshirt into a sweat skirt with a front pocket. Before we get started, I'm inviting you to follow me on Instagram where I post free, almost daily outfit inspiration. Now, let's get into it. Step 1. I turned the shirt inside out so I could see the arm seams better. I'm going to be using this extra fabric for the front pocket so I'm carefully following the lines as I cut off both sleeves. The bottom now becomes the top. See the armholes? I'm wearing this shirt upside down. Step 2. I place the fabric ruler just under the armholes. I'm using a marking chalk and drawing a straight line down. Using the fabric ruler, I'm lining it against where I marked. Normally I would use scissors, but since the skirt is not getting a hem, I'm using a rotary cutter to give it a sharp, crisp edge. Step 3. If you notice the pins at the side, I had tried on the skirt and made sure I knew where I wanted to take it in at. What used to be the bottom is now going to be my new waistband. I'm marking 2 inches at the waist on both sides, a half inch in the hip area and 1 inch at the bottom. Our bodies are naturally curvy, so I wanted this skirt to be fitted that way. I'm taking my marking chalk and connecting my lines that create a curve. Step 4. After I made the markings, I pinned directly on the white line so I could follow it easily on the sewing machine. I'm starting at the waistband and sewing down the line, making sure to backstitch. It was easier to follow this marking chalk line, and I'm considering doing this more often in the future. One thing I did this time that I normally don't do, that I'm also considering doing in the future, is pinning one side of the skirt and then flipping it over, pinning the other side. This actually allowed me to make sure the waistband on both sides was sewn evenly. Step 5. For the front pocket, I wanted it to look like one of the hoodies I always wear. So I took one of those from my closet and measured the front pocket. If you're looking to make this skirt like I did with the front pocket, here's how I made the pattern. Start with some graphing paper or regular paper. Or a paper bag, doesn't matter. Just make sure the measurements are 15 and a half inches wide by 8 and a half inches long. Then from the top corner, mark 4 inches in. At the bottom, mark 2 and a half inches upward. Then connect the dots with a straight line. Cut that line. Repeat on the other side. Now you have your pattern. It should look like a trapezoid. So now that I have my pattern, I place my pattern on top of the excess fabric I had cut off earlier. I'm using the fabric ruler and rotary cutter to cut a crisp edge across. There was a bit of extra seams at the top, so I just used my scissors to cut them off. Step 6. Starting at one of the angled sides, I'm folding in at about a half inch mark and pinning down. Then I'm going to be doing the other angled side. These are going to be my pockets. Then I work my way to the top and then to the small straight edges at the sides. I did not pin the bottom. Stay tuned so you can see how I put it all together. Step 7. As I mentioned before, I wanted the pocket on the sweat skirt to look like one of the hoodies I wear on the regular, so that included having a professional looking finish. With that, I'm going to sew down the edges, starting at the shortest edge and working my way up to the angled sides, to the top, and then down to the other side. I'm sewing about a quarter inch, removing the pins as I go along. I'm actually picking up the presser foot when I go around to the corner so it can have a nice, sharp, clean finish. Step 8. I laid the pocket with the right sides facing. The part of the pocket I did not sew a hem on, I'm pinning that down first so it kind of looks like a flap. When it's all pinned down, I flip the pocket over and I could see the shape coming together. I'm going to sew the part I just pinned, then the shorter sides, and then the top. Step 9. I'm opening the skirt so that the back slips at the bottom of the machine. I don't want to make a mistake and sew the front and back together. Now I'm going to sew where I pinned. Of course I put the pins in backwards. Oops. Anyway, I'm making sure to backstitch at the top and bottom of this pocket. This is how it looks after I sewed the bottom of the pocket to the skirt. I'm flipping it over and going to pin the top. Now I'm going to sew the sides in the top of the pocket. I followed the seams from when I hemmed it so it looks like one line going straight across. Step 10. I'm taking my scissors and cleaning up any long threads that may have been left over from when I was sewing. Then I'm cutting the excess fabric from the inside. I turned it inside out to see what the final result looks like. Not bad for a quick project. I definitely can see myself making this project again. It was easy to do and a great beginner sewing project for anyone out there looking for something simple to try. And this is what the skirt turned out looking like. I love this skirt. It was super easy to make and definitely my style in the everyday. Here I'm styling it with over the knee boots and a crop sweater. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more projects like these featuring sewing and easy to understand DIY projects, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.